it's a beautiful day for baseball as the Angels are gearing up to take on the Milwaukee Brewers for their last game of Cactus League. Welcome inside the ballpark. I'm Alex Curry. Now, most of the Angels' everyday starters made their way back to Southern California yesterday, but there's still a few big decisions to be made in these last couple of games, especially with the pitching. One of those is who's going to be the Angels' opening day starter. No announcements have been made yet. Max Shoemaker has taken the mound this afternoon and is lining up to be that guy, but again, no decisions have been made. Let's take a look at the starting lineups leading off for your halos. In left field is Ben Revere batting second at shortstop is Cliff Pennington. At first base, batting third is C.J. Crone, who's having a great spring. Batting fourth at third base, Jeffrey Marte. Batting fifth behind the plate, Carlos Perez. Batting sixth in center field, Eric Young Jr. Batting seventh is Dustin Ackley. Batting eighth in right field, Shane Robinson. Batting ninth, Ray Navarro. He's playing second base. And Matt Shoemaker making his final start this spring. Now, let's take a look at the Brewers. Leading off is Jonathan Villar. Batting second is Eric Thames. Batting third is Hernan Perez batting fourth at third base Travis Shaw batting fifth in right field Domingo Santana batting sixth is Keenan Broxton batting seventh at first base Jesus Aguilar batting eighth former angel behind the plate Jet Bandy and on the mound batting ninth is Zach Davies let's send it upstairs to Terry Smith for the game call and we want to welcome our uh, viewers today on Fox Sports West as we are getting uh, ready for Angels baseball this afternoon here in uh, Maryvale. The Angels coming into this ball game with a uh, Cactus League record of 18 wins, 13 losses. As far as the Brewers this spring, their record uh, coming in, they have had a total of 15 wins, 15 losses, and one tie. The uh, pitching matchup this afternoon, as uh, Jose mentioned for the Angels, it'll be Matt Shoemaker. And for the Brewers, it will be right-hander Zach Davies. Looks like uh, the lineup cards are going to be presented. Jose, a lot of the Angels regulars are already back in Southern California, and uh, they're gearing up certainly for the freeway series the exhibition freeway series that begins tomorrow night yeah and they, with that also Terry uh, the new lights uh, they'll be illuminating the uh, diamond at the big A will be put to work today and uh, some of the players will get a chance to work out and under those lights to see how that all is going to look and certainly um, also it was good for us to visit with Dino Evil and the things that he's seen here in camp and it's amazing he's the second person that continues to talk about uh, JC Ramirez and Ramirez who we of course, are inclined to believe it's going to be heading towards the Angels' bullpen. But really, Terry, between scouts, Billy Epper, Angels' general manager, Dino Evil, talking about uh, what a pleasant surprise for Ramirez was. I mean, uh, don't be surprised if uh, Angels need a spot starter here and there. He's a the guy that uh, they go to at any time given the season. Yeah, no doubt. And uh, really, the way it appears the bullpen will be configured, uh, there will be some other guys in a, a similar type of role. Bud Norris comes to mind, and also Yusmero Petit, uh, along with Ramirez. Those three figure to be in the bullpen, but they can give you some length in the bullpen as well. And maybe that's a, a situation, an option that Mike Sosia hasn't had a whole lot of in recent years. That's true. I mean, you consider that if you start having a starter go out there and, and go through 100 pitches and five and a third, five and two thirds innings, and the parade starts with one guy at a time, and that eventually will take a toll on you. But now you have options. You know, if a starter goes out there and can only give you five innings uh, because he's gone through a high pitch count then uh, you have option of at least bridging gaps with guys can give you four or six outs and then eventually get to the back end the guys you got to take care of the most but uh, it's going to be interesting and I, I'm glad the options are there and certainly uh, once again as we mentioned yesterday uh, use Mero Petit he is a guy that was already told he's going to be on the team and we know he's also provides the Angels many options when it comes out to being a staff member. Well, the Brewers have taken the field, and their starting pitcher, uh, Zach Davies, will uh, begin loosening up. Milwaukee, they have on the dark blue tops, and they have the white pants. And the Angels look today for the final road Cactus League game for the Angels, the red tops and also the gray pants. I want to remind you who's in and who's out. It's brought to you by In-N-Out Burgers. That's what a hamburger is all about. Jose ran down the Angels lineup. So uh, in the lineup today, Ben Revere in left field, Maven 
uh, has gone back with some of the other regulars to Southern California. Uh, Mike Trout not in the lineup today. Eric Young Jr. is the Angels center fielder. Cole Calhoun uh, back in Southern California now. Shane Robinson will be the starter in right field. The Angels don't have a whole lot of regulars in this uh, lineup here today. But uh, when we've seen a lot of the reserves in the starting lineup for some of these Cactus League games, the Angels have had some pretty good success. So Davies is wrapping up his warm-up tosses. Ben Revere will be the first batter for the Angels today. And around the infield for Milwaukee, they look like this at first base this afternoon is Jesus Aguilar. Second baseman is Jonathan Villar. Third baseman, Travis Shaw. The shortstop, Hernan Perez. Eric Thames is in left field. Keon Broxton in center. Domingo Santana in right. The catcher, former Angel Jet Bandy. And on the mound is a uh, very slender right-hander, Zach Davies. They list him at six foot even, 154 pounds, 24 years old. And we are just about ready to get things underway. Here's the first pitch this afternoon. It's right in there for a called strike, and the count is nothing and one. And here is the next delivery. That's a little bit low. Here's the next pitch. That's a shot into right field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. So Revere, who's had a very good spring, starts off the game with a leadoff single. He came in batting over 430 this spring for the Angels. That's already 22 hits for Ben Revere, and he leads every Angel in that category. His average is going to go near 450 at this point. So Cliff Pennington will be the next batter. Want to remind you, it's the perfect time and temperature to celebrate baseball. Find Stella Rosa Wines at the Big A and your favorite retailer. Game time temperature today is 80 degrees. And they tell us uh, back in Milwaukee, of course, the uh, home of the Brewers, it is 43 degrees right now, so a little bit cooler. And our first pitch today was at uh, 12.08. Nah, that's the way they love their roof. Retractable over at Miller Park. Yeah. First delivery was in there for a strike on Pennington. He's hitting over 400 this spring. There's a toss by Davies over to first base and diving back to the bag is Revere. Revere has had some success running the bases here in the Cactus League for the Angels. He's had uh, four stolen bases this spring. We'll see if he might be on the move. Angels have been very aggressive running the bases all spring long. Runner not going and the pitch on Pennington. That one is low. And the Angels with a total of 46 stolen bases. A lot of first to third. Some guys getting thrown out, stretching and testing, but uh, certainly it's just aggressiveness and awareness you want to see continue on during 2017. One ball, one strike is the count. Here's the next delivery. There goes Revere. There's a shot in the right field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. It got out there so quickly to Santana that even with Revere running on the pitch, you'll have to stop at second. But back-to-back -back singles to start off the ball game. Angels have something brewing for C.J. Crone. Well, Taking advantage of a strike thrower. Like Zach Davies, who works fast. Nice job there by Cliff Pennington. Not just trying to put the ball in play, but getting something he could really drive out there. So the infield is back at double play depth. Crone is the batter. 308 average this spring. 65 at bats here in the Cactus League and the pitch. And that one is low and outside. Jeffrey Marte, who's playing third base today for the Angels. He is the cleanup batter waiting on deck. Here's the next pitch, and that's a cut and a miss. Angels coming into this game have won four of the last five games here in Cactus League play. The Brewers uh, won yesterday. They played the Indians here. They only had uh, 3,900 for that ball game, and the crowd appears to be less 
here today. Not a real big crowd, although who knows, maybe we'll have some late arrivals. They had a wild game here yesterday. Milwaukee beat Cleveland 13 to 12. Here's the pitch. It's hit high in the air to left field, but it's hanging up. Circling under that one is Thames, the left fielder. He'll make the catch, thrown an easy out. Got that one off the end of the bat, and Jeffrey Marte will be the next batter. Well, the more repetitions for Thames in left field, the better off for manager Craig Council, who is forced to use him more left field now. Originally thought he's going to be just an everyday first baseman after three years in Korea, but because of the surge and a tremendous spring from Jesus Aguilar, who was playing first base, I think, uh, Terry, that uh, versatility from Thames is going to be more than valuable for the Brewers. Yeah, Thames is a guy that they hope will uh, kind of pick up where uh, Chris Carter left for them from a power standpoint. Thames was a big power hitter in South Korea the last three years. At the plate for the Angels, taking the first pitch for a called strike is Jeffrey Marte. Jeffrey hitting just a little under 300 this spring. Three homers, and he's driven in 13 runs for the Angels here in Cactus League play. RBI total for Marte tops on the club this spring. There's a pitch that's low. So it's a 1 1 count. It's good to see how Marte was able to quickly adjust after his first call up to the Angels for a few days. Got sent down and went down to AAA and had the suggestion of hitting coaches and then teammates Albert Pujols and Mike Trout. They said, hey, lower your hands. To get to the big league pitching, lower your hands. You're taking too long to get to the ball and boy, did it pay off. There go both runners. Pitches missed. Throw to third. It's way late and the Angels have a double steal. Revere steals third. Pennington steals second. Yeah, Mike Sosha knows a thing or two about the guy behind the plate. And I think that was pretty much based on pitch selection in the count for Marte. That makes the Angels now 48 stolen bases. So now a base hit could mean a couple more RBIs for Marte. Fly ball deep enough to the outfield gets that runner in from third. Angels threatening here against Zach Davies in the very first inning. Here's the pitch. And taking that one is Marte struck him out looking. He thought about chasing it, held up, and he is called out on strikes. He thought about it, Terry, because he was thinking another off speed. He was watching uh, the pattern of that slow breaking ball that Davies had thrown to Crone a couple of times. Marta saw it earlier. And then he froze him, not with a curveball, but different plane. He went change up on the inner half. It's just a good pitch. Locked him up. So now Carlos Perez had to play with two outs trying to get someone home. And the first delivery, that one is outside for a ball. Davies won 11 games last year for Milwaukee. 11 and 7 record in 28 starts. ERA was just slightly under four. He's known as more of a finesse right hander. His fastball top out around 90. He has a very good changeup. And he'll throw a curveball. He talked about his pitches and that he has good movement on his yeah, you, pitches. What Marta just found out is it Crone. He really slows down. Big difference between this fastball and his curveball. Here's the next pitch. It's a little bit low and away. Makes that fastball at 90 look like 95. Brewers really like his makeup. 24 years old. Good competitor. Fast worker. Been a strike thrower. Look at the uh, walk totals last year, and they were low. There's a pitch that misses for a ball. 38 walks in 163 innings last year, so he's usually around the plate. And pitching at home was uh, to be a, quite a challenge for Milwaukee pitchers. He had ERA under four, 3.75. He went seven and five at home. And the next delivery, that's lined down the left side, and that's going to bring in both runners. Headed for second base is Carlos Perez. Just getting to the ball out there on the track is Thames. That will be a two-out, two-run double. It's 2 nothing Angels. It's been another trend for the Angels besides the stolen bases and putting guys in motion is uh, two-out runs. 
Something good to see Carlos Perez being moved up today with this lineup. Mike Socha has uh, brought it today, batting fifth. And after Marte strikes out, catcher paying attention, staying on the baseball and driving it with his two hands. A little wider with the stands the last week or so, and we've seen him drive the ball very well here in the spring, even though the average is down. So the batter now is Eric Young Jr., switch hitter batting left, breaking ball. He tips that one foul. I want to remind you, the top of the first inning, it's being brought to you by Rennick Subaru. Think Subaru and the Subaru a Lot to Love event. Think Rennick first. R-E-N-I-C-K Subaru.com. Carlos quite selective through 3 0 count. Give you a green light. Not looking for a long ball, just stay right with it. Young is batter six in the first inning, 2 0 Angels. He takes that one for a strike. How about the offensive production the Angels have gotten from their catchers the last couple games oh, now? Seven RBIs? Yeah. That's right. Well, they're not of five yesterday. Came into the game with one RBI. Old Spring had five with a couple of swings. And our Carlos. Perez up to 10 RBIs this spring, and there's one that's chopped foul over on the right side. And we know, Terry, how valuable, what an asset it would be to have anything from your catchers in that bottom third. Yep, the Angels know that both guys, Perez and Maldonado, can handle a pitching staff. They know they can handle the running game. The question is, how much will they hit? Well, the last couple days here in the Cactus League, a little more encouraging from that standpoint. There's one that's fouled back behind the plate. Dustin Ackley, who is DHing for the Angels, he's waiting on deck. I'd like to see Carlos get more aggressive on the secondary. There's nobody around him, but he's uh, taking very short steps as the ball is being delivered or the swing is being attempted. Here's the next pitch on Young. Rounded sharply first base side. That's a fair ball. That's going to drive in another run. Eric Young Jr. is headed for second. He is headed for third. And he is going to get there easily with a stand-up two-out RBI triple three. Nothing Angels. Is hugging that line. Eric Young Jr. himself, who will be with the Angels throughout that trip to Southern California, even though he had been sent down for sure. He's made a nice name for himself healthy driving the baseball getting some big hits running the base as well and he's been clutch so that's four hits from the first six batters and the angels have scored three of them Second triple this spring for Young. He leads off third. At the plate now is Ackley, and he takes the first pitch a little bit low. He's had only three hits in 18 at-bats for the Angels this spring. Ackley was sidelined at the start of spring training. Had injury issues last year. Spent some time with the Yankees. Of course, we saw him a lot in the past when he was with Seattle. Two balls and no strikes is the count. They're playing Ackley to pull. They don't have three infielders on the right side. And there's a ground ball that's out of the reach of the second baseman, VR. That's another two-out RBI hit. Ackley gets into the X, scoring easily from third is Young. Four-nothing Angels. Well, Carlos Perez, 3-0 count, double. Eric Young Jr. 0-2 count triple, and now Dustin Ackley 2-0 count. So it's been uh, easy to find out that this guy is a strike thrower, is not messing around, and the Angels doing a good job in taking that plan onto the home plate, regardless of the count. As um, Davies tries to find his command. And it seems to her like he found it very well with the two most dangerous guys coming into the game, you figure, Crone and Marte. And they both have been out. So here's the next batter for the Angels. This is Shane Robinson. He takes the first pitch, and that one missed ball one. 26 pitches already here in this first inning for Zach Davies. Four runs and five hits for the Angels here in the first inning. Off to a great start today. I think Matt Shoemaker's ready to go, Terry. He's <laughs> They're bouncing around the Angels' dugout. 
Huh? There's a pitcher on the outside. Shoot, shoot, yep. shoot, shoot. Take the runs. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Well, he's got to like knowing when he hits to the mound, he's going to have at least a four run cushion. He's been doing some calisthenics and everything over there. The stretch. And a final tune up for the shoot. There goes the runner and the pitch. That is a strike throw down to second, and it is in time to gun down Ackley. So that's how the inning will end on the caught stealing, but a good first inning for the Angels. Five hits, four runs. Nobody left on base. Robinson will be the batter when the Angels hit him the second. Matt Shoemaker is ready to work, and why not? He's up by four runs before he throws his first pitch of the day. Here is that first pitch, and that one is right in there on the leadoff man for the Brewers, their second baseman, the switch hitter Jonathan VR. VR has been pretty quiet this spring, hitting under 200. And here's the next pitch. She takes that one low. One ball, one strike, the count. Angels infield backed up for the most part, except at third, where Marte is a foot or two in, guarding against the speed of VR, who takes another pitch, and that one misses again. So it's two balls and one strike. VR, 62 stolen bases last year. That was tops in. Major League Baseball only missed six games last year for Milwaukee. And here comes the next delivery. That's a liner just off the glove of Crone. He jumped up. He got some glove on it. It'll be a hit all the way. Almost made another terrific play over there at first base. But VR is on with a leadoff single. That's been the end for pretty much all spring long from C.J. Crone. Terry is in much better shape. We've talked about that. He's lighter on his feet. Hey, maybe a year ago, that's an easy double down that right field line because Crone would not have been able to get up that high. Yeah, for Jonathan Villar, you mentioned over 60 stolen bases. That's pretty much unheard of nowadays. Anything over 35, even 40 is almost unheard of. But to get to 60... That's pretty special. So we'll see if he might be on the move here, even though his club is down by four. And here's the next pitch. That's a little pop in his shallow left. That's going to drop in. Thames first ball swinging. 
Singles the opposite way. They have runners at first and second. That was pretty much serve it up. That was a beautiful piece of hitting there by Eric Thames, who comes into the game hitting 245. High expectations. Three-year contract coming from big years of power in Korea. So the batter is the shortstop, Hernan Perez, who's had a nice spring hitting over 300. He's hit three home runs. Had 13 a year ago. He's got a little pop in that bat of his. Here comes the pitch. And that one is taken for a strike. Want to remind Angel fans, long live the hardworking, the proud, the tenacious, and long live the trucks that are as dependable as the people that drive them. Right now, get a great deal during Ram Truck Month. Here's the next delivery, and that one is chopped foul back behind the plate. Now, Shoemaker last time out was a spring training minor league outing when he struck out 11 batters through five and was able to pretty much get out there to his pitch count. So Mike Sosha using this as a final tune-up. But he's ready to go 90, 90 plus pitches if needed today. Last time he pitched in an Angel uniform was 10 days ago, and the next delivery, and that's lifted high in the air into left field, but circling under, waiting, making the grab on that one is Revere. The runner at second will tag and move to third on the fly ball deep enough to the Angels' left fielder. So they have him at the corners. And the cleanup batter, Travis Shaw, will be the next hitter. That's just knowing the game right. That's a good job there by Ben Revere. You want to make that throw to second base, keep the double play in order, keep him all by your arm, and uh, he does the right thing in getting behind the baseball. No, he's not going to have a chance to throw out the speedster be at third base and keeps Thames at first. Now, thinking ahead of the play. So here is Travis Shaw. He came over from the Boston Red Sox. He's had a nice spring for Milwaukee, hitting over 300. He's had three home runs. Terry, he's my pick. He's my pick for this year to have a uh, breakout year in the big leagues. All right. Here's the pitch, and that one is a little bit low. Well, you've been known to come up with some pretty good predictions over the years as far as uh, guys you think are going to trend a lot better from one year to the next and some real bad ones too <laughs> I missed a few <laughs> I know you're not going to throw me under the bus but uh, no way we okay. saw one of them yesterday <laughs> shoemaker is set he's in a little trouble here and the pitch and that's in there for a called strike former Red Sox third baseman Travis Shaw father Okay. One time major leaguer Jeff Shaw. All star closer. The pickoff toss to first and picked off his Thames. Wow, Matt Shoemaker with the quick move. And that's a big out now. Two are gone. Now some guys have the instinct. Mike Socha does not have to tell Matt Shoemaker. He'll tell his catcher when is a good time. But Matt Shoemaker has a great sense. Looking over that left shoulder as to what that runner is doing creeping out and he went just in time to nab him. Here's the next delivery that's waved to miss the thing about that pickoff on Thames was he didn't have that big of a lead to begin with he, he didn't have much of a lead at all. He got him just in time as he's taking the next step not paying attention. <clears throat> also a great instinct play there by Matt Shoemaker. So one and two is the count and the next delivery it's grounded on the right side this should end the inning the throw by Navarro over to Crone is in time and they lead VR at third so after one it's four nothing Angels on the Angels baseball radio network and Fox Sports West.
Second inning we go. And the first batter up for the Angels will be Shane Robinson. He was batting last inning when Dustin Ackley was thrown out trying to steal second base. So here's the first pitch on Robinson, and he takes that one low and away for ball one. The home plate umpire today is Matt Sajak. A minor league umpire who is calling balls and strikes and the pitch lifted in the air to right field backpedaling reaching up and just making the grab out there is Domingo Santana. That ball almost went over his head. He had a really stretch out high and nab that one for the out. Another good contact by Angels hitters and they continue to hit the ball well against Zach Davies who uh, was forced to throw 28 pitches in that first inning. I don't think uh, Santana thought that ball was going to be carrying all that much off the bat of Shane Robinson, Terry. Nope. He was lucky he caught it. He just barely was able to reach that far out to uh, make the grab. So here's Navarro at the plate. Switch hitter batting for the first time. The nine-hole hitter. He takes the first pitch for ball one. Hitting just 154 this spring for the Angels. Four for 26. And he takes that one low. 2-0. Infield is backed up for the most part for Milwaukee. The outfield straight away and the pitch on Navarro. He grounds it right to short. That's gobbled up by Perez. His throw in plenty of time and that'll be the second out. This copyrighted broadcast presented by Authority of Angels Baseball may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. The accounts and descriptions of today's game may not be disseminated without the expressed written consent of Angels Baseball. So here's Ben Revere who started off the ball game with a single ended up stealing third in the uh, first inning and then uh, scored on the two run double from Carlos Perez Angels up four nothing here in the second and the pitch that's pitch taken and uh, the first delivery missed for ball one uh, took Davies 28 pitches to get three outs in the first inning five pitches to get two here in the second. There's the next one and off speed and missed outside. Mike Mass Shoemaker, his last outing was in a minor league game, so he's been stretched out and the point now where he can begin the season. There's one in there for a strike. But uh, he pitched up five days ago against Triple A Louisville. Six innings, one walk, two strikeouts, 84 pitches. Here's the 2 1 delivery, and it's chopped to third. It's handled there by Shaw. The throw is in time, and Revere and the Angels go down 1 2 3 here in the top of the second. Bottom of the inning is coming up 4 nothing Angels on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox.
of the second inning, Domingo Santana, Keon Broxton, and Jesus Aguilar will be the batters against Matt Shoemaker. It's 4 nothing Halos. Shift is on as Santana gets ready to bat. And the right-handed hitter takes that one on the outside part of the plate for a called strike. We want to remind you, this spring, you can find your escape route off-road with great deals on a new Jeep. Get into your local Jeep dealer for the Jeep Spring Clearance event. It's going on now. And the next delivery, that's lined in the gap in right center field, and that will split the outfielders and roll all the way out to the 400-foot sign out there in right center. Coasting into second base with a leadoff double will be Santana. Now, the Bengals Santana has hit the ball well against the Angels. He had a game where he had a couple of home runs, turning on the baseball. Now he goes the other way. And naturally, he's always had this swing. A strong inside-out swing when he got to the big leagues, which led to getting tied up with a lot of fastballs and a lot of strikeouts piled up, Terry. But uh, he really toned some things down and learned more about his swing, the hand position, and how to get the barrel to a good spot. Yeah, he was a guy, uh, we remember him from when he broke in with the Astros in 2014, and yep. boy, did he ever struggle uh, in the first few games he appeared in at the major league level. We'll talk about that after the pitch here, and it's uh, all grounded through by Broxton in the right center. Santana's going to be waved home. Throw to the plate is late as he will score, and Broxton didn't waste any time. First ball swinging. RBI hit and now the Angel lead at four to one. Oh, Angels had a shift on the second baseman on the other side of the bag for the pull side, but uh, boy, the youngster Broxton, what a beautiful job. So it was like he just took it upon himself. Let me shoot the other way, get a good pitch to do it, and he found it early and did not waste any time. So the batter now is Aguilar. He was a player who was in the uh, Indians organization for a number of years. Played briefly for Cleveland last year. Of course, they were the AL champs. And then uh, it was back in February, uh, just last month, that the Brewers acquired him off the waiver wire from Cleveland. And he's going to be on their opening day roster. This is a guy that has a lot of power. He had 30 home runs last year in AAA, and he's had a great spring. There's a pickoff toss again over to first. Braxton, who can run, gets back to the bag. Oh, when it's this late in the spring and you're still hitting 463, <laughs> you've done a ton of hitting. Yeah. Six home runs and 16 RBIs. He's had 25 hits this spring. And here's the pitch. He took a cut at that one and fouls it off on the right side, back and out of play. Aguilar, a native of Venezuela. He only had six at bats last year with Cleveland, and he was hitless in those six at bats. Walter, he went from a few cups of coffee the last three seasons into perhaps uh, what could be a full time job. Yep. Shoemaker bluffing the uh, base runner over there, Broxton. He had 23 stolen bases last year in uh, 75 games with Milwaukee. Did that runner at first? And now a little bit too much time as Aguilar uh, steps out of the box. Time called by umpire Matt Sajak. It's a good TV name. Yeah, I wonder if he's Good related showman. to Pat. And there's one uh, uh, toss over to first, and just getting back to the bag goes the uh, base runner over there, Broxton. Oh, we know the spelling is a little bit different, but uh, right. hey, that's a good tie-in right there, huh? Yep. Show business. One ball, one strike is the count. In a toss over to first base and back to the bag goes the uh, base runner Broxton. <laughs> there goes the runner the pitch that one is low throw down a second waiting with the tag right there is Navarro and gunned down 
is uh, Broxton. Boy, that was not even close. That throw was right on the money. Oh, yes, it was. And it's pretty much a repeat, a replay of what we have seen from day one. Yes, many times the Angels have been challenged on the bases. And the majority of times, guys have been nabbed. And it's been Carlos Perez, Martí Maldonado, Briseño, Sanchez, Arcia, you name it. There's a pitch just a little bit outside. That one didn't miss by much. You know how proud that makes the Angels manager. Yeah, you're right, Jose. Oh. If the Angels can just remotely keep this up as far as the work of their catchers controlling their running game, it's going to be exciting this season. The pitch, that ball's hit well down the left field side. It's tight to the line. It has the distance, and it's gone. Boy, another home run for... Aguilar, that's his seventh this spring. You can see why the uh, Brewers think they uh, got a pretty good find right there in uh, this player coming over from the Indians organization. That caught stealing uh, looms bigger because it's just a solo shot. 4 2 the score. It's not hiding it. I'll be right over the heart of the plate. Big man. Thick arms, thick trunk, and he puts everything into it to get it way out of here. Third home run given up by Shoemaker in five starts this spring. So at the plate is a good friend of uh, Matt Shoemaker's, his uh, former battery mate, Jet Bandy. First pitch was in there. Bandy is hitting 229 this spring for the Brewers, and he cuts and misses that one, and now the count is 0-2. It looks like Bandy will be splitting time behind the plate, at least breaking camp. It's an opportunity of a lifetime. Here's the next pitch, and just a little bit outside, that one missed. Here's the next delivery that's lined down the left field side. That one's going to push foul down around the Angels' bullpen out of play. It's a good story with Matt Shoemaker and Jet Bandy talking to both through the years, even going back four or five years in minor league camp, and how many times <laughs> it was Bandy catching Shoemaker and both trying to make a point about getting a chance to play in the big leagues. And the many, many hours in the sun in the backfields and bus rides and plane rides in the minor leagues and Look at this now. That was a pretty good fastball there. Bandy had a good eye to take that one with two strikes now. The count level. Both Terry persevering. Being diligent about their work and dedicated to the game. The 2-2 two -two pitch. That one is low. And so now it's a full count. This might be the first time they've ever uh, faced each other. They, they know each other very well, as you mentioned. But as far as uh, the pitcher-hitter matchup, Probably a little inner squad in the minor leagues at one point. Here or there. I mean, they go back a long ways. Yeah. Some of those camp days, Terry. It was no balls, two strikes. Now it's a full count and the payoff pitch, and he fooled him right there. That looked like a good splitter struck him out. Bandy is the first strikeout victim for Matt Shoemaker today. That's the second out. And now uh, Zach Davies will. Be the batter. The uh, Brewers are batting their pitcher today. Still off speed. The where Matt Shoemaker knows the ball has to be down a little bit more. The biggest difference is the difference between his fastball and the last splitter, and the breaking ball that he threw to Aguilar that hung way too much, which he kind of overthrew by a couple miles an hour. That was just enough to stay up longer. First pitch on the pitcher Davies is a ball. He's not a real good hitter. In fact, he hit under a hundred last year. He's a good bunner. But uh, that's I'll take usually, that. That's I'll take that. Sacrifice huh? rolls. I'll take that. Yeah. Two outs here. Sack Bunn isn't going to help you. And the pitch. And that one is a strike on the outside corner. Of course, you can always try and bunt for a hit, I guess. Remember those games when um, the American League team had to hit their pitcher back in spring training? Yep. And Mike Sosha will go anytime his pitcher will come up, it was a sack bunt, regardless. So an Angels pitcher in this situation right now will be bunning. 
Let's get it over with. Or the other thing Work we saw on. a lot of was uh, Mike told the pitchers don't swing at a single pitch. Stand there, statue. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Here's the next delivery, and that one is inside. And of course, the the fear always was that you know the uh, pitchers on American League teams don't bat very often at all during the course of a whole season, and uh, you're more apt to maybe pull something, twist something, swinging the bat. Here's a chopper hit the second. Navarro should easily get Davies, and he will on the throw to first base. The inning is over, but a couple runs in the inning for the Brewers. They cut the Angels' lead in half. It's 4-2 Angels as we head to the third. Final Cactus League game from Arizona on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West. Third inning, we go. Clip Pennington will lead it off for the Angels. And fans, don't forget, join the Angels all season long. Enjoy post-game Saturday night fireworks shows presented by Wells Fargo. More info on the Saturday night fireworks, visit angels.com slash promotions. Pennington will bat for the second time today. He has a single. He's stolen a base score to run. Davies retired the Angels 1-2-3 last inning. And here's his pitch. There's a bunt. It's pushed out near the mound. Davies fields flips to the first baseman and it's in time to get Pennington. That's out number one. Pitcher helping his cause there fielding his position. C.J. Crone the next batter. Like that play on offer for Pennington. Only issue was the grass is a little thicker than what you see in most of the ballparks here in Arizona and just could not get it by the pitcher. Like to see Penny stay uh, healthy he at all the hamstring issues last season, and uh, so far this, so far so good uh, through spring training. He's been healthy and he's produced. Yeah. Again, Anderton Simmons' absence last three games or so. Let's not even count this one. He would have been gone anyways today. So he's had a tight back. In Mike, so just says just play it safe with Simba. He'll be working out tonight at the big A. Pitch on Crone. He takes that one for a strike. Angels and Dodgers tomorrow at the Big A. And there's one that's fouled back behind the plate. It'll be Yusmero Petit. Kenta Maeda will go for the Dodgers Friday. Angels and Dodgers again at Angel Stadium. Garrett Richards against Rich Hill. And then the two teams will uh, play Saturday at Dodger Stadium. Jesse Chavez will start that ball game for the Angels. The Angels will either see Ryu or McCarthy in uh, that ball game. The uh, Dodgers have yet to officially announce who their Saturday starter will be. Here's the pitch. And that's a little bit inside on Crone. 
So it's a full count on CJ who flied out to left field his first time up. As we are still awaiting to see who is pitching for the Angels on Monday. The opening night. Yep. Here's the pitch. Boy, Crone <laughs> fouls that one way out of play down the left side. I mean, Indian school, here that comes. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> wow. Yep. A little bit in front of that one. Just a bit. <laughs> a 68 mile an hour curveball. And the next delivery he takes on that 3-2. That was a pretty close pitch to take, but it's called ball four. So he has a one-out walk. Angels have a base runner. Jeffrey Marte will be the next hitter. It's the first walk surrendered by Davies. Well, Marte was fooled on a changeup and a curveball when he struck out first time. Let's see the approach here on the pattern from Davies. Went down looking in that first inning. Checks the swing there, and then there's a snap throw up the first base side. Uh, back to the bag goes Crone. A more athletic C.J. Crone. He's getting good leads. So it's been taking the extra base. He's got three stolen bases. Now he will get more chances that Luis Balbuena will be out for a while with that hamstring issue. Here's the next pitch, and that's waved at and missed. Good off-speed pitch had Marte fooled. One ball, one strike. Again, Balbuena out four to six weeks. With a hamstring grade one plus strain. Here's the next pitch on Jeffrey, and that one just a little bit wide. Talking about Boyan about that, Terry. He was showing me around his leg where they took part of the muscle out during a surgery last year. And this is totally away from it. So it's almost like the leg reprogramming itself as to where the pressure points are and turning and twisting and doing all baseball activities. Here's a ground ball. It's hit right to short. It looks like two. The throw to second. The relay to first takes the first baseman Aguilar off the bag. And so safe at first base will be Marte. A little too nonchalant up the middle. And her not, the yard is trying to be way too fine. Yeah, that should have easily been a double play ball. No error on the play because you can't assume a twin killing. But that was a bad throw by VR. I do get the out on Crone at second. That's a little too fancy. Runner nowadays is rarely ever a factor coming into you. And Crone was about 10 feet from him when he slid. So at the play now is Carlos Perez. He's had a big hit already in this game. That was back in the first inning, a two-run double. First pitch of ball, 1-0 the count. Carlos uh, took advantage of a 3 0 green light to slice that double down the line for a couple of RBIs in this first inning. Infield is spread and deep, and the pitch. That's a strike on the outside corner. Brewers a year ago, a team that finished in. Next to last in the NL Central, they ended up 30 and a half games behind the Cubs. Milwaukee's record was 73-89 a year ago. And the pitch, and that one is low, and most people, uh, baseball experts, thinking that uh, the Brewers aren't going to be a whole lot better in 2017. Then you got to replace Chris Carter. He were talked about Terry 41 home runs and 94 RBIs 821 OPS. Here's the pitch and that's a off speed pitch. It really had Perez fooled. He missed it. Two and two the count. In fact uh, Carter was also a mainstay on the field. He played 160 games. He's had a tough spring with the Yankees. I wouldn't worry too much about him. Yeah. He's going to strike out. There's no doubt. He struck out 206 times last year, but put him in Yankee Stadium in that division, and you're talking about close to 50 home runs. 
Here's the pitch. This is bounced on the left side, third base side, but just foul. So we'll do it again. Two balls and two strikes. We're in the third inning. Angels have a 4-2 lead. We'll talk about the Yankees and youngster Greg Bird has grabbed the first base job. Seven home runs. And they're still trying to decide what happens in right field. With the big judge. Yeah, that seems like it's still up for grabs. Yeah. Here's the next pitch. Lifted in the air down the right field side. Santana is going back on it. Now appears to have a beat on it. He'll make the catch. And that will end the inning. Angels will leave a runner on. And as we head to the bottom of the third, it's 4-2 Angels on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West. Great to have you with us here on this Wednesday. We go to the bottom of the third inning, 4-2 Angels. Matt Shoemaker gets ready to face the leadoff man for Milwaukee today. Jonathan Villar, he's had a single his only time up. Marte at third is in. Rest of the infield uh, backed up for the most part. And here's the pitch. Off speed in there on the outside corner. A lot of dialogue in the Dug out between innings. Shoemaker, Carlos Perez, pitching coach, on some things that Shoemaker has shown that uh, perhaps he needs to fix. And at times, not too happy with himself on the reaction we have seen on the pitches he's missed. That has nothing to do with the umpire, but perhaps delivery or where he's landing or the arm slot where it is at this point. That Shoemaker way in front of VR counts nothing in two. We'll see if he can. Polish him off to start off the inning. And he missed outside with that fastball. You can tell he's a little irritated at times. Trying to get the breaking ball down. Slider hung as Carlos Perez was gesturing in the dugout with his hands. Here's the next pitch. And boy, VR uh, took that one. That was a tough one to take with two strikes, but it's called a ball. VR got away with one right there. That fastball did exactly what Matt Shoemaker wanted. Ran back out over the plate. Here's the two strike pitch that's uh, a little bit low he checked his swing on it so it's the full count three and two VR will strike out 174 K's last year. So we'll see what gives on the three two delivery and the next pitch it's popped in the air on the left side under making the grab on it is Pennington a couple feet back on the outfield grass lazy pop out to the shortstop one away 
Eric Thames is the next batter he's had a hit so far in the ball game. Thames is a player that they signed out of South Korea. And uh, he spent three years in South Korea and put up big numbers. Hit 347 in the three years. There's a pitch way high and outside, and that one really got away from Matt Shoemaker for ball one. There, they're taking a chance, guarantee him a lot of money to come back to the United States. Yeah, they signed him to a three-year, $16 million deal. And there's a club option for the 2020 season. Left-handed batter cuts at that one and misses it. In the uh, three years he played in South Korea, he hit 124 home runs. And he uh, drove in a little bit under 400 runs over the last three years. 379 RBIs. Here's the pitch. Low and in. You know, more impressive, you and I were talking before the game, is he had a year where he had 47 home runs two years ago and stole 40 bases. Yeah. He had played in the big leagues prior to this stint in South Korea. He uh, played for Seattle back in 2012. So the count is three and one on him. Second straight batter that uh, Shoemaker is run a three ball count against. Here's the next pitch. And that is ball four. So one out walk. First walk allowed by Matt. Shoemaker's had a little trouble getting into a rhythm in this ball game. Yes. And uh, I don't know that he's been helped a whole lot by Matt Sajak, the young umpire who's calling balls and strikes. Comes into this inning with 32 pitches. But even the body language tells you something uh, might be out of whack with him. And hopefully he'll keep repeating spots, locations where he's going to eventually get those calls off the margins. So one out, one on. 4 2 Angels here in the bottom of the third and the pitch. This is tapped softly on the third base side. This is a tough play, and the ball's fumbled and not held onto cleanly at all by Marte. It's going to be an infield hit. Jeffrey had little room for error there. He was going to have to do everything right and a throw on the run and just was not able to get the handle on that one. So they have him at first and second with one out. And also one of the fastest runners the Bruins do have in Bernard Pettis. Stole over 30 bases last year. Though well, he was tied up on that swing, did not get a great jump out of the box. Not a very good proportion there. Uh, percentages throw him out. So the batter now is going to be Travis Shaw. And here's the pitch. That's a pitch a little bit low for a ball. <laughs> feel like we're in a wind tunnel here today. Hey, sometimes the flags uh, can <laughs> fool you. Huh? Yeah, well, today's one of those days. Don't pay attention to the flag because it is coming through in this booth. There are a lot of moving papers in this booth today. <laughs> Get the paperweights, and here's the pitch, and that one is low. I don't know that it's that bad if you're in the stands or out on the field, but in our booths, it's like a wind tunnel today. That's what I'm saying. The flags are saying one story, but uh, what we're experiencing is a little wind shear in here. <laughs> Two balls and no strikes to count. And the next pitch, that one is fouled off on the left side. We're here in the west side of Phoenix today, the home of the Brewers for uh, spring training, Maryvale Baseball Park. It's a nice facility. Yeah, it is. It's uh, built below ground, so when you enter the stadium, all the seats you have to walk down to sunken uh, seating here. The uh, field is below ground as well. There's a pitch that's in there for a strike. Kind of a bowl effect, if you will, when you walk in. Very nice. It's been well kept for many years. Perhaps talk about the Brewers moving somewhere. We we'll shall see. Yeah. Two balls and two strikes. 
Shoemaker's next delivery, and that one misses low. So he's run another three ball count, and he's had a lot of them here. He is facing his 13th batter. And the most exa exasperating part of it is he's had a lot of 0-2s go to 3-2s. And not to say that was the case here this inning. That's us where you can see that he's fighting himself in some areas. So this will be Matt's 50th pitch of the day. And we'll see what gives on a 3-2 once again before we get the answer to that. He bluffs the toss to second base. Runner at second is Thames. On at first is Perez. Now Shoemaker is about ready. Here's the pitch. Grounded on the right side. Under the glove of Crone. Under the glove of Navarro. A run is going to score, and they'll have him at the corners. That ball just wasn't going to be stopped for some reason. When it left the bat, it looked like Crone was going to have a chance to turn it into an out, at least somewhere. But it skipped under his glove, and then Navarro, who was backing up, it went under his glove as well. Uh, surface is giving uh, the Angels fielders a little bit of trouble here this inning. Happened with Marte, and now also with C.J. Crone, who we have seen make this play at least for get one out the majority of the times so far in spring training. That ball just started picking up speed, and of course, once it gets by Crone, it's a little bit tough to see, even if you're backing up as a second baseman as Navarro was. So on that play, Thames was able to score from second. Perez goes first to third. RBI hit for Shaw. It's now a 4-3 Angels lead with runners at the corners and only one out. Last three have reached base safely here in the inning. And here's Santana, who's already doubled today. Here's the pitch. That's inside and low. It misses for a ball. Well, sends that home run by Aguilar. Shoemaker's thrown 25 pitches. 14 balls. One ball, no strikes. That shoemaker working hard in this inning delivers, and that's on the outside corner called strike. Let's pause for stations to identify themselves on the Angels Baseball Radio Network. Terry Smith along with Jose Mota. Our producer engineer is Jorge Sevilla. Here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. And that is inside. 2-1. and one. So Matt Shoemaker, who had a four-run lead before he ever threw his first pitch of the day, has now seen the Brewers put three on the board against them. And they're threatening to get some more. The dangerous count. A guy that feels pretty good at the play right now in Santana. Shoemaker with a pickoff toss back to the bag goes Shaw. Santana, the batter, a very straight up erect batting stance. Keeps the uh, hands close to his chest, awaiting the pitch. Hands just above his waist. Here's the 2-1, and that's a called strike, so it's a 2-2 count. Shoe bouncing back. Nice finish to that last pitch slider. Outer half, less velocity. Good movement. Seven hits allowed by Shoemaker in less than three innings here today. Here's the 2-2, and that's fouled back behind the plate. Infield. Playing at double play depth. Outfield is shading Santana a bit the opposite way. He has power. Angels bullpen remains quiet down the left side. No action for either side at the moment. Counts two and two. Next pitch. And he came inside on him and it's fouled back to the screen. Still two balls, two strikes. Yeah. 
Angels have brought to seven pitchers today besides Shoemaker. And uh, four of them are from minor league camp. Here's the next pitch. That's low and outside. So now it's another full count. And now with this 3-2 count on Santana, seven of the last eight hitters, Jose, that Shoemaker has matched up against have had a, a three-ball count against them. Seven of the last eight, and that's so unlike Shoemaker, who's a control pitcher. Yeah, he's had trouble putting it all together and synchronize just to get a consistent slot and to get the ball into good zones. He's only walked one, but he's been forced to come in with strikes. And the next delivery, and that one is tipped foul back behind the plate. So hanging in there is Santana. Shoemaker uh, nearing 60 pitches in the ball game, and we're only in the bottom of the third inning. This game is already over an hour old. Here's the 3 2 pitch swung at and missed. He struck him out. That's a big out. Shoemaker had to work hard for it, really did. And the strikeout for Matt, his second in the ballgame. Now two outs in the inning, and Roxton will be the next hitter. Well, that's a sequence of pitches that he can really build off of. And he started with that break of ball that he took a lot off of it, slider, outer half for strike two, and then he worked himself back into just perhaps staying a little bit taller, better finish, using that slope driving down and the splitter difference you see there between fastball, slider, splitter, and why Santana had a tough time picking up the spin end of velocity. It's the best sequence he's had all game. Broxton's had an RBI hit so far today. His only time up. Here's the first pitch, and he chases that one, fouls it back to our right out of play. See Carlos Perez now insisting more and more on where he puts that glove and where his body is located, where he wants that center line to be to make it a good aim and target for Matt Shoemaker here. All you're thinking right now is how do we minimize the damage here. No balls one strike the count. Carlos setting way off the plate outside. Here's the next pitch and that's in there. He takes it for a called strike. Broxton uh, digging in right handed batter. He's one of the. Uh, a lot of hitters that are starting to wear that extra little protective flap on their uh, helmet that kind of uh, cuts in front of their jaw as they dig in. Here's the next delivery, and he swings at that one and fouls it back behind the plate. Yeah, we should point out, too, Matt Shoemaker is wearing a liner inside his hat. Of course, how will we ever forget the line drive that struck him off the bat of Kyle Seeger back in September? So Matt Shoemaker does wear special protection so he's in front here 0 and 2 on the batter and the pitch a cut and a miss got him struck him out back to back strikeout shoemaker had to work hard in the inning he faced six batters they got one run against them a couple of hits and also a walk they leave the pair on we're headed to the fourth inning angels have a 4 3 lead on the angels baseball radio network and fox sports west
Here we go to the fourth inning. Eric Young Jr. will lead it off against Zach Davies. No changes in the field and the pitch fly ball lifted into left field backpedaling now under waiting and making the catch is Thames one pitch and one out. So Young is retired. Dustin Ackley who's had an RBI hit will be the batter and fans don't forget you can host a business function or celebrate a special occasion in your own private suite at the Big A. Now Sweet Reynolds offer all inclusive food and beverage packages. Visit angels.com slash sweets to reserve your suite today. Ackley digs in and there's a pitch that's taken for a strike. Nothing in one the count. They do have a shift on with three infielders on the right side. The second baseman has a good 25 feet or so back on the outfield grass and there's a bunt. It's bobbled slightly by the pitcher Davies as he hustles off the mound but he recovers and throws out Ackley. Well Ackley was trying to get what they were giving him with that shift on it wasn't a bad idea but it turned out to be a nice play by Davies even though he fumbled that ball initially coming off the mound he still recovered and uh, got him at first base with the throw you know it's amazing Terry now with this era of shifts you are so discouraged when you're being taught how to bunt I'm bunting the ball too hard right yeah but now is a time when you have to bunt the ball hard down the left side against the shift just so to make sure the pitcher's not involved right so he couldn't uh, get to it fast enough but in your mind you've always been taught well you know you don't want to push the ball too hard or stab at it but uh, now the time we got to really have a strong top hand and just let that ball find the barrel and roll it get the pitcher out of the play Shane Robinson taking a 1 0 pitch and miss ball two, two balls and no strikes this has only been a five pitch inning here for Davies two outs no one on and the next delivery that's outside so it's three and oh uh, Davies made 28 pitches in the first inning started this inning with only 55 so he's found a way to get back into rhythm 3 0 pitch and that is in there called strike we are the second baseman is playing almost behind the uh, second base bag a foot back on the outfield grass first baseman Aguilar way off the bag he's maybe about 30 feet off the bag at first and there's a pitch in there and now it's a full count Davies has retired eight of the last nine that he's faced and the next delivery it's a fly ball lifted into center not very deep at all coming in a few feet making the grab is Broxton and the Angels have a quiet fourth inning the bottom of the fourth is right around the corner Angels have a 4-3 lead on the Angels baseball radio network and Fox Sports West.
Bottom uh, of inning number four, uh, just about ready to get started here at Maryvale Baseball Park. Aguilar will be the first batter. That Shoemaker gave up a home run to Aguilar. That was back in the bottom of the second. He'll lead off the bottom of the fourth. Bottom of the third of the batting order here for the Brewers. And the first pitch. That's in there for a called strike. It's 4-3 Angels. Angels have four runs on five hits. The Brewers have three runs on seven hits. Here's the next pitch. That's a low and outside. Terry, we know he has power. Seven home runs now, 17 RBIs, he mentioned, and he hit a ball yesterday in that ninth inning that's still carrying here in this ballpark. Beyond and just to the left of the batter's eye, over the white fence. Here's the pitch. This one is chopped on the left side and just out of the reach of Pennington. It was hit fairly close to uh, the second base bag. And Aguilar has a hit. Well, I'm sure uh, that home run that he hit yesterday that came against his old club, the Indians, so that had to feel even better for him. Absolutely. And I thought that was a ninth inning blast. It's a good, good story. I mean, uh, one of the things that with Aguilar's career minor leaguer is a nice waiver claim. Terry Francona, his former manager with the Indians, actually commented, glad to see somebody like that get the opportunity and run with it. He might be a player to watch this season. Especially playing half of those games in that ballpark. Oh, yes. Yeah. Certainly an unknown of sorts going into this season. Here's one that's uh, chopped foul by Jet Bandy. Hey, we've seen the Jet, Angels dugout. We've seen Jet Bandy do that before. Yeah. Hit a ball on the ground right into the uh, Mike Sosha area. Over at the big A. Come on, Bandy. What guy that... Uh, you, uh, I'll be intrigued to see what he can do with 350, 400 at-bats. He has some power. We saw it uh, when he was with the Angels last year. Eight home runs in 70 games. Here he grounds one on the left side. This could be two. Second for one. Relay to first. It is a double play. So the Angels turn their first one behind Matt Shoemaker today. And it looks like we're going to have a pinch hitter for the uh, pitcher Zach Davies and Yvonne De Jesus Jr. will be batting. Terry, there's a time when you're at second base and you see a big guy like Aguilar barreling down into you and you were like, okay, give me the ball as quickly as possible. Let me get out of the way. Nowadays, you have so much protection with the rules. Navarro casually took that baseball, even stayed in the lane around the bag to turn it. First pitch on to Jesus. That one is taken for a ball. Two outs, no one on. Shoemaker has not had a clean inning today. And the pitch, that's lined into left field. And it's going to drop in front of Ben Revere. He plays it on one hop. Came in, just couldn't quite get in fast enough as that ball was dropping quickly. So it's a two out. Pinch hit single for De Jesus. It's unfortunate for De Jesus, uh, who is hitting now over 4:30 here in the spring, but hasn't been told already he is not going to be with the squad breaking camp, and bounces back right away, and it's, it's another line drive. He's been spreading line drive all over this field. So now the top of the order. And here is VR getting ready for his third at bat of the game. He's gone one for two. Yeah, the ace is now 20 for 46. Here comes the pitch. That's a shot and a diving grab on it by the shortstop Pennington as he went to his right and nabs that one. That ball was only hit a couple feet off the ground. Nice play by Penny, and the inning is over. So that'll do it for Milwaukee. Boy, they hit the ball hard all four batters in the inning, but they uh, failed to score. We're headed to the fifth. Angels up by a run, 4-3 on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West.
So as we get ready for the fifth inning, the Angels have a 4-3 lead, and the Brewers have a new pitcher on the mound. His name is Corey Knable. He appeared in 35 games for Milwaukee a year ago. He has a good arm, fastball. He'll top out around 98, and he also has a very good curveball. He's known as a strike thrower, strikeout pitcher. And he's ready to work here against Ray Navarro in the first pitch. That is in there for strike one. Former uh, first round pick of the Tigers back in 2013, Corey Knable. And the next delivery, this is a fly ball that's hit shallow to the left fielder. Coming in a few feet is Thames to retire Navarro, and that's the first out. Yeah, very interesting, Terry, that. Uh up to just about 30 seconds ago as Charles Nagy hits over to the Angels bullpen but uh, he and Matt Schumacher were still talking mechanics and just from the gestures and things that I see from here it was Schumacher talking about driving home staying tall and driving with that back leg and push it off yeah Matt was a little bit off today and he really had to work hard if uh, his day is done, which it might be, uh, he had to work hard in the four innings he pitched today. But he did give up, well, nine hits. And even last inning, uh, even the outs were hit hard against him. So you know what? He's ready. He's ready to go to this thin air. <laughs> to get it done. Hopefully in Oakland on Monday. Hopefully. It's him. Yeah, we'll see who gets the uh, opening day assignment. Pitch was in there on uh, Ben Revere, so quickly Knable has jumped in front. Rick in Alaska through yesterday, minor league game. There's a fly ball lifted to left center field, circling under, making the grab is Broxton, an easy out. Two fly ball outs here in the inning. Cliff Pennington will be the next batter, calling all Angel fans and runners. Don't forget to join us on April the 22nd for the Angels 5K and Family Fun Run. It's presented by St. Joseph Hogue Health. Participants get a T-shirt, a medal, a ticket voucher for a select Angels 2017 home game, and the proceeds will benefit the Angels Baseball Foundation. Pennington today hitting out of the two spot. He's had a one for two ball game. Had that nice diving catch for the final out in the bottom of the fourth to uh, Rob VR. And the first pitch on Cliff. He takes it for ball one. It's one ball, no strikes. That pitch kind of spooked uh, home plate umpire Matt Sajak. I don't think he saw it very well. Here's the 1 0. And that one is a little bit low. Ball two. Here's the next delivery. And that's a push bunt, but it's right back to the mound. It's fielded there by Knable. He'll underhand the flip to Aguilar, and the inning is over on the comebacker. Punt try by Pennington. Angels go down one, two, three. So the bottom of the fifth is coming up here in Maryvale. Still four, three Angels on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West.
New pitcher for the Angels, the left-hander Jose Alvarez will take over for Matt Shoemaker. We'll run down his numbers in just a moment. Eric Thames is the batter, lefty-lefty matchup, and the first pitch misses for a ball. The count, one ball, no strikes. And there's back-to-back -back days for Jose Alvarez, who threw very well yesterday. Nine pitches, eight strikes. Let's just say, Terry, he does need to uh, throw a little bit more. There's one fouled off. Of course, Alvarez spent some time in the WBC with the Venezuelan team. This appearance uh, for him with the Angels is spring number seven. Two wins, no losses, ERA 1.50. Six innings, he's allowed five hits, one earned run. No walks, five strikeouts. Here's the 1-1 one -one on Thames. That's lifted in the air in the left center, and that's a gapper. It's going to bounce all the way out to the wall. The new left fielder, Ramon Flores, will play it back to the infield, but not before Thames is on base for the third straight time. He's had two hits and a walk, and he's in scoring position representing the tying run. Nice job by Thames. That's something the Brewers do welcome him on base and driving the ball, staying square to left center field against a left handed pitcher. He's getting ready for those regular season matchups as he will experience often. So Perez is the batter, and here's the pitch. He thought about bunning, takes the first one outside for a ball. Matt Shoemaker, the starter, four innings. He allowed nine hits. He gave up at least two hits in every inning that he pitched today. He uh, gave up the three runs, all earned. In the uh, walk department, he issued one, strikeouts three, and he gave up a home run. And here's a fly ball lifted to center. Under making the grab is Young. It's hit deep enough that tagging at second and moving to third on the fly out will be Thames. And with one out, they have a runner at third base for Travis Shaw. Alvarez goes to his changeup. Yesterday, I saw him throw excellent changeups and some curveballs. After missing on the fastball to Thames, he goes to the changeup on the right-hander Pettis. It's good inning. Bring him in. See a couple of lefties. Good things ironed out. Angels have the infield in the first pitch of ball. Then a snap throw by Perez up to Marte. Back to the bag goes Thames. Travis Shaw singled in the last run the Brewers scored. That was in the bottom of the third. He has a chance to tie up the game here in the pitch, and he drives one deep down the right field side. That is tight to the line down in the right field corner and gone. The Brewers have their second home run of the day. That one gives their, them the lead for the first time today, and it's now 5-4 Milwaukee the right time for the Brewers to see Jose Alvarez I guess he coming to this game having allowed only one run through six innings and a couple of lefties have tagged him Terry he's my pick yeah you uh, said you like Travis Shaw to have a real breakout season now that he's in the National League with the Brewers. Yeah, 71 RBIs for Boston last year. It's not too shabby, considering that uh, at times he had a fight for playing time. I think uh, finally getting settled, less pressure playing here in Milwaukee. He should thrive. At the plate, fouling one off is Santana, over by uh, where some of their coaches are seated, and they count one ball, one strike. It's Darnell Cole, somebody you know well, Terry. Yeah. DC. <laughs> Here's the next pitch, and that's taken for strike, so it's one and two. The Angels had a 4 0 lead today before the Brewers ever batted. Angels got four in the top of the first inning, but now they have scored five unanswered runs. They lead it. And here's the next pitch, and that's a little bit low. Two and two, the count. Outfield is shading Santana to the opposite field. The 2-2 pitch. That's low. And now it's a full count.
another payoff pitch for an Angel pitcher today, and this one is fouled right in and out of the Angels dugout. So the count holding, it's three and two. I haven't seen much or anything of uh, Ryan Bronterry who uh, says he needs 30 at bats. That's all he needs. 30 at bats for regular season. Get ready. Well, he's at 23. Ryan Braun has played in nine games this spring for the Brewers. He's got three home runs. Six eighths, three home runs, two doubles. I guess he's right. He's ready. A few more at bats in the exhibition games coming up uh, against the White Sox and Miller Park and turn it on. Here's the next delivery and there's one that's hit well in the right center field out by the wall. It's going to smack off the base of the wall just cruising into second base with a double. The uh, third extra base hit they've had in this inning is Santana. It's his second double of the game. So Jose Alvarez uh, having some issues here in the bottom of the fifth. He's given up two doubles and a homer against the first four that he's faced. Looks like we're going to have a pinch runner out there for Santana at second. Terry, here we go. <laughs> Get the binoculars. Get these kids their proper time. And at the plate, uh, chasing that one is Braxton. He fouls it back behind the plate. up the pinch runner out there in just a moment and the next pitch that one is cut on and missed and so the count goes to uh, nothing and two never really helpful when you get a, a roster for one of the opposing teams and <laughs> the uh, players number does not appear on the roster so uh, it's not updated so we'll find out it's day to day that's right we take a day to day inning to inning at bat to a bat Kyle Wren is the pinch runner out there at second base so that takes care of that little issue and the pitch and that one is a little bit high Terry I know at some point those binoculars were gonna pick us up there you go Let's pick up number one yep Number 94, Kyle Wren is the pinch runner. Here's the next delivery, and that's a cut and a miss, and down on strikes goes Broxton. So that's the second out recorded by Alvarez since coming into this inning. No secret on the execution there. He was able to repeat back to back, back up that changeup in better locations each time. And Broxton was not getting fooled either. He was taking big hacks. This is a very interesting matchup because you know Aguilar knows Alvarez very well from Venezuela. He will be looking off speeds. First pitch and that one is in there for a called strike. This has been a 21 pitch hitting a little bit more pitches than Alvarez would have liked to have thrown here in an inning of work and he's not finished yet. 5-4 Milwaukee. They've taken the lead here in the bottom of the fifth and the pitch that's low and inside. And I mentioned the Angels uh, back in Southern California tomorrow to take on the Dodgers. And of course we'll have all the action uh, for you on the Angels baseball radio network. Also on the TV side on Fox Sports West and the pitch that one is low. Jose and I will uh, step away from the uh, television broadcast, Mark Gubasaw and Victor Rojas will uh, have all the action uh, tomorrow on Fox Sports West from the Big A. From tomorrow on, the boys are back. And here's the next delivery. That one is a little bit low. It misses. So it's a 3-1 count. We will have Angels live pre and post game throughout the weekend. 
Here's the next pitch. This is chopped right out near second base. It should be the inning. The uh, stop by Navarro, the second baseman, and he will throw out Aguilar, and that'll do it. But a pair of runs for Milwaukee here in the bottom of the fifth. And as we head to the sixth inning, they lead the Angels 5-4 on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West. So we get ready to move to inning number six. Angels down by a score of 5-4. C.J. Crone is the batter. And he's facing uh, Tommy Malone. And the pitch is in there for strike and the count. Nothing and one. Uh, a lot of changes here for the Brewers. We'll uh, pick those up. They have a new battery. Mitch and Malone is pitching. And Renee Garcia is catching. It's like Eric Sogard who uh, we saw for a number of years with the Oakland A's. He is now playing in left field. And here's the pitch. Here's a high fly ball. It's hit well into right center field. It's out by the wall, and that one is gone. Out of here, home run. C.J. Crone connects. That's his fourth this spring, and that ties this game up at five. C.J. Crone continues to see the ball well off of left-handed pitchers. And getting more reps, his first home run of the spring came against a lefty, and this one goes and travels a whole lot to right center field, more towards center field. On um, a good approach all the way there, as so he's looking off speed of Tommy Malone and find something he could handle. So here's Marte batting, and the first pitch of ball to count 1 0. Crone last year, 92 at bats against left handers, hit only 228, two home runs out of the 16 that he hit. Here's the next pitch, and that one is a pitch that's taken for a ball. The uh, new second baseman is Javier Bettencourt. They have Orlando Arcia playing shortstop. Here's the next pitch. That's a shot in the left center, and that's going to roll all the way out near the warning track. Just getting to it is Sogard, the left fielder, going up the second, and just getting there in time will be Marte. So that's his first hit of the day. And the Angels now have had a pair of extra base hits to start off this performance by the reliever Tommy Malone. Big part of the field approach, Krohn and Jeffrey Marte is the new shortstop, Arcia was shaded over to pull 
He hits it right into his left side. Nice job by Martin following along and not stopping at first base. So here is uh, Carlos Perez getting ready to bat. And he is around the bunt. They do have the infield in. There's the bunt. It's pushed back in front of the mound. Only one chance for an out first as Malone, the pitcher, fields. But Perez gets his job done. Nicely executed sacrifice bunt. Moving Marte over there to third base. And now the Angels have the uh, potential go-ahead runner over there at third base. And Eric Young Jr. will be the next batter. It's more of a regular season situation there for Mike Sosha, getting Carlos Perez ready for these types of callings. Here's the next pitch, and there's a ball bounce right back to Malone, the pitcher, and he fields it, looks the base runner Marte back to third and throws out Young on the comebacker. So uh, Tommy Malone has handled his uh, position against the last two batters. And now Ackley will be stepping up. No, got Young thinking off speed away, and he busts him in with a check swing with a fastball. And good job by Marta not just breaking on contact. Here's the pitch. And that is a strike taken by Ackley. Nothing in one to count. Here's the next pitch. And that one a little bit inside. One ball, one strike to count. Here's the next delivery, a little bit low. New third baseman in the game for the Brewers is Nate Orff. Here's the pitch. That's a shot into left field. That's going to drop in for a hit. Ackley delivers there, and the Angels get another two-out run. Coming in and scoring is Marte, and the Angels are back on top. It's now 6-5. Lefty-lefty matchups have been uh, quite productive for both sides. Alvarez comes in, and the Brewers are not contained. Thames hit the double. Shaw hits a home run. Now Ackley against the lefty Malone does the same type of damage using that other part of the field after breaking ball early in the count he looks away and finds something to strike and push that way so the Angels uh, matching the uh, Brewers two runs in the top of the inning uh, getting a pair here now in the bottom of the inning to go back on top by one six five halos Ryan Lamar is batting now and he is batting out of uh, Shane Robinson's spot. Robinson was 0 for 2. And here's the next pitch. And that ball's lifted high in the air. It's hit well into center field. And that ball is out of here to dead center. The pinch hitter, Ryan Lamar, hits the Angels' second home run here in the inning. And the Angels' lead grows. It's now 8-5. Lamar with that home run. That is his first one this spring, and no doubt about it, the dead center field. He quietly has had a very nice spring, even though he has been reassigned to minor league camp. He's a good athlete. Uh, shown the Angels the ability to get around the bases. Some power came into this game today. Invited for minor league camp hitting 280. He's getting on base over 350. And good to see him uh, show off here some of those skills the Angels saw and why they brought him aboard. So here in this sixth inning, the Angels have had four hits, including a pair of homers off of Malone. Have scored four runs against them. And are back on top now by three, eight to five. At the plate is Ray Navarro. He takes the first pitch for ball one. It's one ball, no strikes. Tommy Malone has struggled. 
not only today but all spring for the most part against the uh, for the Brewers. Here's a ball that's hit on a low hop fielded there by the first baseman Aguilar and uh, he will go to the bag and that will end the inning. But the Angels send seven to the plate come up with a four spot here in the sixth take an 8-5 lead to the bottom of the sixth inning on the Angels baseball radio network and Fox Sports West. Angels have made a lot of changes. They're coming in fast and furious here in the final Cactus League game. There's no doubt about it. Well, we've got uh, how many games to get ready for this? 32, 31? Yeah. Yep. So we're used to the uh, exercise here. Luis Tejada is the new first baseman for the Angels. Matt Williams is the new third baseman. Bo Way is now playing in center field. We'll uh, pick up who's in right field. That might be Lamar staying in the ball game uh, for the Angels in right. The new pitcher is Jose Valdez, and the new catcher is Tony Sanchez. And the first delivery missed for a ball. The counts one ball, no strikes. And uh, this looks like Arcia at the plate. Orlando Arcia's first at bat today. He took over for them at uh, shortstop. Shortstop, number 57, Hutton Moyer. Center field, number 87, Wait. Tell you, I think we got it all the way. Uh, I think we have. Uh, now that Bull Way is in there, we got it all the way. <laughs> We're good. It's either that or no way. <laughs> I'm not sure to agree with you or say there's no way we have it right. Uh, so it's a full count. It's three balls and two strikes. That's one of Mark Langston's uh, favorite names. All right. Bull Way. Think Cal so. Tui. Yep. Yep. He's no longer in the organization. I believe Hutton Moyer is now uh, playing shortstop. That is. And he's the son of uh, Jamie Moyer, former big league uh, pitcher. There's a cut and a miss on that one there by Arcia. So the counts level on him, two and two. Jose Valdez uh, replacing Jose Alvarez. And here's the next pitch that's lifted in the air to center field. We mentioned Bo Way is out there, and he had a beat on that one. Makes the grab, and that'll be the first out. One gone, and let's pause for stations to identify themselves right here on the Angels Baseball Radio Network. Alvarez, one inning, 
three hits, two runs, both are in. One strikeout, one home run. Terry Smith, Jose Moda, and our producer engineer is Jorge Sevilla. And we have one gone here in the bottom of the sixth inning with the Angels up 8-5. And the pitch, and that one is in there for a called strike. This is Ivan De Jesus Jr. He came in and uh, pinched hit back in the uh, fourth inning, got a single, and he's still uh, in there and the uh, pitch to him. Evens up the counts, one ball, one strike. You know, Jose Valdez, Terry, was perhaps a couple of outings away from being considered and perhaps being one of the last cuts by him for a bullpen spot, but uh, his last two outings, he got roughed up. Lost his release point, just could not go out there and repeat pitches, even uh, committed a very costly mock. But uh, he's one of those guys that uh, was on that last window looking in to get himself back on the 40-man and the 25-man roster, but since then he's been assigned to the minor leagues. Here's the pitch. There's a fly ball lifted into right field. Going back is Lamar, and he reaches up and makes a nice grab as he ended up going onto the warning track out there. Ryan Lamar, who had the uh, home run in the top of the inning, makes a nice play in deep right field in the bottom of the inning. Can move a little bit. Took a good round. No panic at all when he saw that ball slicing. He knows eventually that ball coming off the that right hand that bat from De Jesus is going to slice and find the glove. So uh, at the plate right now is Eric Sogard. And the pitch, and he lifts a high fly ball into right center. This is playable, battling the sun out there, and then losing the ball at the last moment is Bo Way, and it'll drop in for a double. Well, should have been caught, was in the air a long time. At first, it looked like Way had a bead on it, the way he was tracking it, and then at the last moment, he kind of peeled off as he completely lost sight of that one, and that'll be a sun-aided double here for a Sogard to keep the inning alive. Tough sun here in this ballpark, which is slanted differently than other ballparks the way it's lined up. We usually see a lot of problems on the left side of the diamonds. This was straight center field. As the sun finds its peak, tough to get it out of the sun to get your eyes trained to find it again. There, that little dark spot just was not there. Yep. So the batter now is Nate Orff, who has uh, come into play third base. This is his first at bat today, and he takes that one for a strike. Valdez and the next pitch. There's a ground ball hit on the right side. It's a diving stop by the new second baseman, Raymer, but the throw bounces off the glove of Tejada, the first baseman, and everybody's safe, and the runner comes in all the way from second base on that one, uh, Sogard. So, uh, Cody Raymer made a nice stop on it but then did not make a good throw. That'll go to single and an E4. So the single uh, enabling the batter to reach and then the error enabling the base runner to take the extra base and come in and score as Sogart uh, ends up coming in from second base. So now it's an 8-6 Angels lead. And this is Javier Betancourt batting. This is his first time up. Hitting court, uh, hitting out of the number three spot that was occupied by Perez, who went one for three or non Perez. Eight six Angels here in the sixth. The pitch is low. One and one to count. Well, the uh, Brewers had kind of a game like this yesterday here at this ballpark, and they ended up beating the Indians 13 to 12, and this one kind of has that feel to it right now. It's 14 hits already for the Brewers. Yeah. And 
Valdez has been hit hard. Soft as ball was the one not center field would wake and not make the play because of the sun but every ball coming off the bat has been struck fairly hard. Valdez is ready and here's the next delivery that's line foul down the right side back and out of play. So it's a one two count. And with a little luck though Valdez would have been out of the inning had that ball uh, off the bat of Sogard been caught out in right center. But when uh, things don't go the way you hope they will you just have to deal with the circumstances and he's had a few things to turn against him here in this inning. Here's the next pitch and that is way inside. It hits off the mid of the catcher Sanchez and that's a wild pitch. Sanchez tried to stand up and uh, catch that one but it skipped off his glove. So now they have Orf up at second and the count here on uh, Betancourt is two and two. Updating a few games around the Cactus League today. Sixth inning. Indians lead the Reds 7-5. Also in the sixth inning, the uh, White Sox are trailing the Padres eight to six. They're having a good uh, pitchers duel today and surprise Rangers and Royals no score. That game is in the bottom of the ninth. There's one that's fouled back behind the plate. Terry, that sounds pretty good right now. Yeah. Cubs are up on the A's seven to two. That's only in the bottom of the third inning. In the second inning, Dodgers and Mariners 2-2. We'll uh, check out some other uh, exhibition action in just a moment, see what's going on in Florida in the Grapefruit League today. We do have some finals from there, and the pitch grounded down the third base side, a foul ball, so let's update what's happening in Florida today. Cards beat the Nationals 6-2. The Rays all over the Orioles. 15 to 6. Astros and Marlins play to a 5 5 tie. Twins beat the Red Sox 5 to 3. Braves and Mets play to a 2 2 tie. Phillies split squad beat the Tigers 8 to 2. Next delivery. That one is cut on and missed, and that's how the inning will end on the strikeout. The other games in Florida today. The other Philly split squad uh, with an 8-2 win against the Pirates. That was the same score they beat the Tigers by. The Yankees uh, were in action, and they came away with a victory today, beating the Blue Jays 3-1. In our ball game, we are headed to the seventh inning. Angels have an 8-6 lead on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West.
Seventh inning we go. Angels have an 8-6 lead, and the Brewers have a new pitcher on the mound. At the plate for the Angels is Ramon Flores, and the first pitch he takes that one for ball one. It's one ball, no strikes. Youngman replaces Tommy Malone, who worked last inning. He gave up four hits, including a pair of homers, four runs. They were all earned in Walker strikeout, any one. And the next delivery, that's ball two on Flores. 2-0. Youngman is a big right-hander. Goes about 6-6. Former first-round pick of the Brewers back in 2011. Not a real hard thrower. And he's a guy who has a good sinker and a very good curveball. 3-0 is the count here on Flores. See uh, what happens on the 3 0 delivery, and here it comes. That's a called strike. He was taking all the way. 6 8, 213 pounds out of the University of Texas. Here's the next pitch, and that is low ball four. Fans, don't forget, if you have a group of 20 or more interested in experiencing Angels baseball, receive group ticket pricing for as low as $8 per seat. Call 888-796-HALO or visit angels.com slash groups for more details. Tony Sanchez will be the batter, and this will be his first time up today. He's hitting out a... With Pennington spot. Pennington was one for three. Tony Sanchez has had a nice spring with a bat. Here's the pitch that's cut on and fouled back behind the plate. No balls and one strike the count. The veteran catcher already has been assigned to minor league camp, hitting 333 and 27 at bats. He's driven in five. There's a lob toss over to first base, and back to the bag goes Flores. Youngman had an outstanding college career. 2011 Dick Hauser Trophy as a top collegiate player in the country and was a finalist for the 2011 Golden Spikes Award. Here's the pitch. That one is inside. Even though his last name is pronounced Youngman, the uh, first initial of that last name is actually a J. You would uh, think it's Jungman, but it's pronounced Youngman. Here's the pitch. That's a uh, pitch that's chased and missed, breaking for uh, second base and uh, moving up on that pitch that wasn't handled cleanly by the catcher Garcia is the Angels base runner Flores, so he moves up to second. Oh, interesting. A year ago, Flores was about to break camp with these Milwaukee Brewers as he made their opening day roster. Invited to Angels camp, has been reassigned to the minor leagues, and here he is seeing some of his former teammates in a very familiar place. Here's the one-two. It's a breaking ball and missed. Two balls and two strikes. It's Taylor Youngman at one time uh, drafted by the Angels, but did not sign with the Halos. There's a breaking ball that's cut on and missed, and boy, that one right there fooled Sanchez. That was a good off-speed pitch, struck him out. Uh, one of those guys that uh, perceived velocity is one thing, and the radar gun will show something else. Throws across his body at 6'8". Coming right at the right hand of batter's box and the ball quickly disappearing. So that 90 91, of course, on perceived velocity looks way harder when he gets to that release point. Here's the pitch, and that's right in there for a called strike. Mentioned the Angels uh, originally drafted Youngman, and that's when he was coming out of high school, but he elected not to sign, and then he went to college and uh, was 
a first round pick of Milwaukee when the Angels drafted him out of high school he was a 24th round pick so you can see how his stake was rising uh, out of high school to become a number one pick in the draft 12th yeah. overall selection in 2011 yeah it took a terrific college career yeah. outstanding what a great program oh and two the count and a great coach of course and Augie Garrido Terry he likes to uh, play video games but also he enjoys reading biography so we got to send the Terry Smith rich biography down to him <laughs> so he gets to know a little bit about the men calling play by play today Here's the uh, next delivery. That one bounces in, and it skips into the Angels' dugout. So uh, that's going to move the uh, base runner Flores over to third base. A wild pitch here. Matt Williams is batting. This is his first time up. Counts one and two on him. Terry, this is the last game of the Cactus League, right? Why does it feel like this is February 25th? Well, the changes. Well, <laughs> we uh, mentioned at the very top, Jose, oh we, the very first... <laughs> Spring training game was against Milwaukee, and uh, the last one here in Arizona is against the same club, and they both feel the same. <laughs> There's been more changes, I think, today. You got it. And that one is fouled off. One and two, the count. I'm a little bummed, though. I won't get to work with you for a while, my friend. Yep. Enjoy it as always, uh, getting together uh, with you for the spring training games, Jose. All the great people around here, too. Of course, Jorge, welcome to this part of the show. Infield brought in. Here's the next pitch. Uh, breaking ball is taken there by Williams, and that is strike three. We mentioned that uh, Youngman has a very good curveball, probably his best pitch, and Williams found out about that one firsthand right there for out number two. Why don't we run down, Terry? All the great people that have helped us here. Scott Snyder, start with him. Makes it happen here in the booth. But Mark Martinez... Eric and camera, Garrett Savage camera, Didi Hill and audio, great Didi. Holly and camera, Mike Figueroa audio, Chuck Kramer, tech manager, Eric Parker, Brian Vallejo, thank you so much to all of you. And of course, to our outstanding crew in Los Angeles. Absolutely. Here's the next pitch on Raymer, and that one, uh, he takes it, Cody Raymer for a ball. One ball, one strike. This is his first time up. He's hitting out a Marte spot. Jeffrey was one for three. And when people ask, Terry, you guys do every spring training game, it's like, yes, we do, and it's a ton of fun. Here's That's the support. next pitch. This is hit deep on the left side. Long throw by the shortstop, Arcia. Nips. Raymer and that will end the inning and that saves a run right there. That was a nice play by the Brewers uh, shortstop. Young, very talented player. Here in the inning, the Angels no runs or hits. A walk and a runner left at third. Seventh inning stretch time. We thought we'd never get there, but here it is. And right now it is 8-6 Angels as we head to the bottom of the seventh on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West.
Angels have a new pitcher. It's Austin Adams as we start things here in the bottom of the seventh. First pitch, it's cut on and missed. And they count nothing and one. This is Joanne Hill Segovia who came in to play right field. He's batting for the first time today. And here's the next pitch. He fouls that one off just to the right of us out of play. Segovia is hitting out of Travis Shaw's cleanup spot. Shaw had a good ball game for the Brewers today. He was two for three with a homer drove in three runs. 8-6 Angels leading in the bottom of the seventh. Next delivery, it's chopped right out towards short. Fielded near second base by Hutton Moyer. And he will throw to first base and get Segovia. That'll be the first out. Nice job of the young Moyer. Getting behind that baseball, see those hops. Feels a little bit tricky. So obviously he's been paying attention. Got his feet in a good position to catch a baseball and make a nice transfer for the out. Kyle Wren is the new batter. He is seen action as a pinch runner and out in center field. Now this is his first at bat today. He is a left-handed batter. And the first pitch, that one is right in there for a called strike. Nothing and one. No balls, one strike. And there's one that's in there for a called strike on Wren. 0 and 2 is the count. Adams is set and the next pitch and did he go around on that one yes he did struck him out and that'll be out number two so two up two down quickly fans we want to remind you to register for the 714 ticket seventh inning sweepstakes your name is announced during the seventh inning you'll win two angels tickets and twenty five dollars in 714 tickets bucks Plus, you'll also be a finalist for a chance to win $7,140. You can register today. Just go to am830.net. Keyword is 714 tickets. Here's the pitch, and that one is fouled off on the left side. No balls and one strike the count. Some decisions coming down to the wire. You know, the Angels, uh, especially out of that bullpen, Terry. Nice showing yesterday by... But Norris started the game with a couple of innings struck out five. Like Parker continues to dominate. And we will see who it will go to. Petit already on the team. Announced yesterday officially. Counts 0 and 2 on the uh, catcher. Renee Garcia this is his first time up today and he bounces a one hopper right to Moyer the shortstop and he will throw him out and a quick clean inning and a solid inning by Austin Adams here in the bottom of the seventh the eighth is right around the corner Angels lead at 8-6 on the Angels baseball radio network and Fox Sports West.
batter up for the Angels as we get ready to start things off in the eighth inning. It is the first baseman, Luis Tejada. And here's the pitch, and that one is taken for a called strike on the outside corner. Nothing in one is the count. Youngman is ready, and here's the next delivery. Here's a hot smash down the third base side. Nice stop by Orff. The throw to first is in time. That was a very good play by the Brewers third baseman because that ball was tattooed off the bat of Tejada. It was hit hard off a right-handed batter, and the ball's coming back on him. Start with that glove low. It's able to get his feet turned around. Wherever that momentum's going to take you, don't worry about which way you spin around as long as those shoulders are squared up to first base lined up and make a strong play and a great throw. So the batter now is Hutton Moyer. And the uh, first pitch to him. He takes it for strike one. Good to see the young Moyer on the field. He's hitting out of Eric Young's spot. Young was one for three with a run batted in and next pitch misses. It's one ball, one strike. Seen a little bit of uh, Hutton Moyer this spring with the Angels. Here's the next pitch. That's popped in the air down the left side. Coming over is Sogard and he is there to make the grab. So that's the second out. Sounds like Hud Moore has a lot of fans here. He might. Yeah, just after making contact and when he was announced earlier today. Got a lot of claps. So here's Ackley who's gone the entire ball game as the designated hitter. He's had a pair of RBI singles. He's also scored a run, so he's having a nice day. And the pitch takes that one for a strike. Nothing and one the count. This is the second inning of relief for Youngman, and uh, he has yet to allow a hit or a run. A couple of strikeouts, one walk. There's a pitch and misses ball two. It's two balls and one strike. Here's the next delivery, and that's chopped foul back behind the plate. Tomorrow night when the Angels Start the exhibition freeway series against the Dodgers. First pitch at the Big A will be at 7.07. Here's the next delivery, and that is a little bit low, a check swing. They say he was holding. So it's a full count, three and two. Looking forward to, to the new lights over at the Big A. They'll be on display tomorrow night. And again, that uh, pitching matchup tomorrow, Petit against Maeda. Here's the next pitch, and that one is chopped foul on the right side. Three balls, two strikes, the count. Angels have done a good job today when they've gotten people on of getting them in. Angels have not left very many base runners today. There's Ackley taking the pitch and now it's a full count. Also the Angels have continued on the great pattern with two out runs. And this has been happening throughout the spring with any lineup. Here's a pitch that Ackley takes, and that's ball four. So he's on base for the third time today. Angels have a two-out walk. Next batter is Ryan Lamar, who is only time up when he uh, batted for the first time in the ball game. Came in as a pinch hitter and had a uh, pinch hit two-run homer. Looks like Ackley's going to be lifted for a pinch runner now. Looks like Forrest Alde is uh, in to pinch run. So the young player up from minor league camp getting a taste of playing with the Angels this spring. There's a 
pitch that uh, checking on it was Lamar. It was a ball and a snap throw up to first base. That new uh, pinch runner all day gets back to the bag safely. All day getting his feet wet here at this level. Sign as a minor league free agent uh, in 2016. From Galveston, Texas. And he just drew a throw over there. They respect uh, his speed. Yeah, all day. Also, flash some power in the minor leagues. One year with 20. or two home runs, 20 RBIs, but the speed is there. Here's the pitch. There's one that's drilled on the third base side. Orff makes another play as he went diving to stop it and throws to second, and they get the force out on all day. And uh, the Angels are retired here in the top of the eighth. No runs, hits, or errors. A walk in, one runner left. We're moving to the bottom of the eighth inning. It's 8 6 Angels on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West. Here in the bottom of the eighth inning, Jesus Aguilar is the first batter here for the Brewers. He's had a good ball game, couple hits, including a homer. Is a new pitcher for the Angels. Justin Anderson has taken over. We've seen him a few times here this spring. Up from minor league camp again today. There's a pitch that's on the outside corner. That's a called strike. So it's one and one. Anderson replacing Adams, who had a one two three bottom of the seventh against Milwaukee with a strikeout. Here's the next pitch. And that one was framed by the catcher Sanchez but called a ball. Two and one. Eight six Angels on top. Bottom of the eighth. Here's the next pitch. And that's a fastball high. Justin Anderson from Houston, Texas. He's a 24 year old start his professional career 2014 14th rounder for the Angels here's a ground ball it's hit the third stopped there by Matt Williams and his throw over to first base is in plenty of time that's the first out Anderson pitched at Inland Empire last year eight wins 12 losses 5.70 ERA and 27 starts and one outing in relief Today's attendance, 3,447, 3447. Milwaukee, as far as what they have left in uh, spring training play, well, they're going to have a day off tomorrow. Here's the pitch, and that's a wild pitch all the way back to the backstop. The uh, Brewers also had a 
day off on uh, Monday of this week, and uh, they're going to be off tomorrow again. And then they will be in Milwaukee for a couple of exhibition games against the White Sox. It's nice. They get there off the uh, after leaving today, tomorrow at home. Just looking at their uh, schedule this spring, and it looks like they had four off days this spring. There's a pitch a little bit low. Two and one is the count. Anderson is set, okays the sign, and here's the next pitch. Popped foul just above us. It's back and out of play. Here in the bottom of the eighth inning, it's being presented today by our friends at Rotolo Chevrolet in Fontana. Rotolo Chevrolet is pursuing excellence every day. You can visit them at rotolo.com. That's rotolo.com. So here's the 2-2. Two -two. A little poke in the center. It's going to fall in for a base hit. Garcia makes a big turn at first base, and he'll go back to the bag. That's his first hit today. One out single here in the bottom of the eighth. The Jesus will be the next batter. Matt Shoemaker started today. He gave up nine hits in four innings, three runs they were earned. We've seen Jose Alvarez. He was touched for two runs in one inning. Jose Valdez gave up a run in one inning. Austin Adams had a scoreless inning, last inning, and Justin Anderson now working in his first inning here in the bottom of the eighth. Eight six Angels and the pitch. That's on the outside corner. Angels will not play the Brewers during the regular season. Here's the pitch. That's hit well in the center field, but right near the center fielder, Bo Way, hardly had a move. He catches that line drive. That's out number two. Tell you what, the Brewers have hit the ball hard all afternoon. Yes, they have 14 hits. They're down. But they also came into this game collectively uh, doing quite well. 296 as a team. 373 on base percentage. Terry, now we see why they have square the baseball all day. Yep, they've had some loud outs, as you mentioned. Here's wow. Sogard batting, and that's a strike on him. Anderson's going to get a new baseball before uh, his next pitch here to Sogard. Sogard, a 286 batting average this spring. And here's the pitch. He takes that one for a ball. This was a guy, Jose, that I'm sure you remember. Uh, there were some times when he was with the Oakland A's, he would wear out the Angels. Oh, he could be coming into a series from somewhere else over 20 and then find a way to hurt the Angels. <laughs> yep. And perhaps in a game against the Angels, he could have been 0 for 3, 0 for 4. But that clutch hit always came. Later in game from Eric Sogard. Hardly played at all last year. He had left knee surgery, and that was back in April of last year, and he played just a couple of games in the uh, A's minor league system last year because of that knee problem. And here he uh, fouls one off his foot. It looked like the ball rolls to the right of the mound, so the count's two and two on Sogard. Sogard has that to, uh, of course, become even more versatile. He's playing some outfield today. Angels always saw him at second base, occasionally on a shortstop position. Terry, now he's teammates with Matt Garza. Go figure. Yeah. And Here. the bunting issue they had uh, a couple years back. Here's a pitch that he cuts at. It's a foul tip. It's held by uh, the Angels catcher Tony Sanchez and the inning will end on the strikeout so good inning for Justin Anderson we're headed to the ninth it's eight six Angels on the Angels baseball radio network and Fox Sports West.
Here in the ninth inning, another new pitcher for the Milwaukee Brewers. It'll be their fifth of the day. Rob Scahill will take over. He was in 16 games for the Brewers a year ago. Has a good sinking fastball and a slider known as a ground ball pitcher, and he will take over. He replaces Youngman, who worked the last two innings. Angels uh, did not have any hits against him or runs. Youngman issued uh, two walks, struck out two, and also had a wild pitch. So here we go to the ninth. Angels up 8-6. First batter is Bo Way. That's from the left side, and the pitch. It's chopped right out near second base, handled there by R.C. of the shortstop, and he will throw him out. One pitch and one gone. Here's Flores getting ready to bat. Flores has a walk so far, his only time up. There's a pitch in there for a called strike. Here's the next delivery, a big cut and a miss. Nothing in two is the count. Skill has Scahill has set his thumb in the big leagues, Colorado, Pittsburgh. And Milwaukee and Pittsburgh lacks your split. 18 in the third innings. Good job for Milwaukee. 2.45 ERA in 16 games. Here's the next pitch, and that one just a little bit outside on the check swing. They say that Flores was holding. One and two is the count. Scahill was claimed off waivers from the Pirates July 12th of last season. Here's the next delivery. It's fouled off to our left back and out of play. So it's still one ball, two strikes. Adam knows already. One ball, two strikes. And here's the next delivery, and that one is a little bit low and inside. Two and two is the count. If the Angels can hold on and have a two-run lead now, we'll take at least a two-run advantage to the bottom of the ninth. Angels trying to win game number 19 this spring, and here's the pitch. This is chopped by the mound and right up the middle. It's going to be a base hit. Flores has his first hit today. Angels have a one-out base runner here in the ninth. The Angels catcher now, Tony Sanchez, will be the next batter. Sanchez, since he entered the game, uh, won it back, and that turned out to be a strikeout. Here's the pitch, and uh, checking the swing is Sanchez. He went around, says the home plate umpire, Matt Sajak, and the count, no balls and one strike. Mentioning the Angels trying to win game number... 19 uh, this spring. That was the uh, number of wins the Angels had uh, last spring training. And uh, Angels also had 19 wins in the uh, 2014 spring training as well. So it's been kind of a common win total recent years for the Halos here in exhibition play. Yeah, let's just hope uh, this, this one leads to a better start in April. I agree. Here's the pitch, and that one missed, and then a snap throw to first, and back to the bag goes the base runner over there, Flores. It'd be nice, Terry, a winning record in April for the Angels, which uh, has been so hard to do in recent years, and for a long stretch, by the way. 
Sanchez uh, strikeout victim. That was uh, strike three on that swing there by him. Tried to hold up a little bit. And now with two outs, the batter is going to be the uh, third baseman, Matt Williams. He's been up once with a strikeout. Yeah, Angels last April went 11 and 13. The April before that, 11 and 11. April before that, 14 and 13. And if you go a little deeper in Aprils, there goes the runner and the pitch that's chopped right at the third baseman. Orff has done a good job over there since coming in, and he's going to throw over to first base. Williams is retired, and that's it for the Angels here in the top of the ninth. So we are headed to the bottom of the ninth inning, and right now the Angels up by a pair, 8-6 on the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West. Chris O'Grady is going to take over and try and get the final three outs. He has a chance to save this game as we head to the bottom of the ninth inning. O'Grady replaces Anderson, who gave up a hit, no runs, and uh, struck out a batter last inning in the bottom of the eighth. He uh, faces the uh, third baseman, Nate Orff, here to start things off in the bottom of the ninth inning, and the first pitch missed for ball one. It's one ball, no strikes. O'Grady is back up from minor league camp. And the next pitch that's on the outside part of the plate, that's a strike. We've seen uh, Chris O'Grady a few times this spring for the Angels. Left-hander. And this is his seventh appearance. He is not allowed an earned run in any of them. And he missed with that pitch. The uh, count now two balls and one strike. Here's the next delivery, and that one was framed by the catcher Sanchez, and it's now two and two. Angels have the infield uh, backed up. And here comes the next delivery, the 2-2. It's fouled off to our right back and out of play. Tickets are available for the uh, two exhibition freeway series games, Angels and Dodgers, starting tomorrow night. 7.07 first pitch, Thursday and Friday. Petit and Richards will be the uh, starters in those games for the Angels. Tomorrow night, Uzmera Petit. Garrett Richards will uh, go for the Angels on Friday. And the Angels excited to be heading back to Southern California. Some of the team already back home as we speak in the pitch lifted in the air down the right side backtracking under reaching up and making the catch on it is Lamar so Orf is set down and that will be out number one here in the bottom of the ninth inning two more to go 
Betancourt will be the next batter. Jose's headed downstairs. He'll join Alex Curry for uh, post-game analysis on uh, Fox Sports West. They'll have Angels live for you. No interview uh, when the game is over today. We'll have some more on the radio side for you as well. After this ball game wraps up, there's a pitch right in there from O'Grady. And the count, nothing in one. The times we've seen O'Grady this spring, I mentioned he's yet to give up a run. He's, he's done a good job. And the next delivery, that one misses a little bit low. And O'Grady is a guy who was in the uh, Cincinnati Reds camp last spring. They had taken him uh, away from the Angels in the Rule 5 draft back in December 2015. And then last spring, he went to spring training with Cincinnati, and then they ended up returning him to the Angels as a good cut fastball. Former 10th round pick of the Angels back in 2012. He spent time at Arkansas and AAA Salt Lake last year. Next delivery, and that one is cut on and missed. He got him, struck him out. So Bettencourt is polished off. One more out to go. Eight strikeouts today for Angels pitching. Only one walk allowed. So the pitching uh, in those areas has been solid. The Angels have given up their share of hits in this ball game, though. 14 hits. But have a two-run lead with two outs in the bottom of the ninth. At the plate is a pinch hitter. And uh, digging in there and taking the first pitch for a strike is Mario Feliciano. Here's the next delivery. That's in there. And now the count's nothing and two on Feliciano. O'Grady is pumping in strikes. Next pitch. That's low and outside. Feliciano... Batting for the first time all spring for the Brewers up from their minor league camp getting a cameo appearance here. Here's the next delivery and that one just missed. Two and two the count. Feliciano pinch hitting for Segovia and the next delivery that's fouled off on the right side out of play. Still two strikes on him. One more strike and it's over. Here's the 2-2 and there it is. Cut on it. Missed. He got him. That was a good off-speed breaking ball. Another strong inning for O'Grady as he sets him down here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Couple of them on strikeouts and the ball game is over. Angels come away with the victory here this afternoon beating the Milwaukee Brewers by the final score of 8-6 and that concludes the Arizona portion of spring training. Angels uh, with the victory 19 and 13 here in AZ and uh, have three more exhibition games uh, coming up starting with one tomorrow night at the Big A against the Dodgers again on Friday night at the Big A against the Dodgers and the Angels will play at Dodger Stadium on Saturday Sunday the Angels are off and next Monday on uh, April 3rd the Angels kick off the 2017 regular season again the final score today Angels over the Brewers 8 to 6 for those of you watching on Fox Sports West. Jose Moda and Alex Curry will be coming up with more post-game analysis on Angels Live. We'll have some more for you on the radio side as well. As always, thanks for joining us today. This is the Angels Baseball Radio Network and Fox Sports West.